What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Advantages of team trucking. And is that something that you're thinking about? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Team trucking. There's something that I thought about back in the day when I came into the industry. I thought about, you know, jumping in the truck with a... Uh, with a team driver, you know, to go and get this bag. So when I was asked back in the day if I wanted the team by the company that I was driving for, I did put some consideration into it. You know, they gave me a list of drivers who was interested in team trucking. And, you know, a couple of them was from my area. You know, that's what the company tried to do. They tried to match you with someone that's relatively close, if not in your area, so that when y'all decide to do home time, it'll be easier for you guys to get back in to the truck. But team driving have its advantages and disadvantages, and I want to go over that with you guys. So for the new drivers that's coming in, because you're going to, you, you, especially if you're coming in with a mega, mega carrier, that's, you know, that's team specific. They're going to ask you to do some team driving. And that's going to be a thought that you're going to have to think about. And you're going to need maybe a, you know, a little bit of tips or advice on that before you make your decision final because as as of you know the allure of team driving and making more money sounds good <laughs> you you got to know some of the you know some of the disadvantages that comes with it but let's start with the advantages though right let's start with the advantages right you know now there's a two part to this you know if you're a team if you team driving with somebody you already know which i suggest highly if you already know this person and you already have like a small repertoire with them then i would suggest team driving with them with somebody you already know in particular, a family member, maybe a friend, maybe your spouse, bo uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, hmm, boyfriend, girlfriend, maybe your spouse. <laughs> but if you team driving with them, that might make the experience a little bit more smoother. You know, both of y'all will socialize, both of y'all will work at the same time, both of y'all will be doing the best job in the world, you guys will rarely get bored, you will always have a partner to entertain you, especially if you're a boyfriend, girlfriend type deal. You know, y'all can get the cheek session in anytime you want. Y'all get bored at the shipper, y'all can go ahead and get that clap session going. I'm just saying. But that's on a boyfriend, girlfriend, spousal uh, situation. Don't try that. If y'all, you know, don't know each other, I'm just saying. If you don't and you trying to get a clap session in, it's not going to work, bro. It's all about getting that bag and leave that woman alone. But that's if y'all don't know each other. Let's continue. You don't have to share your meals, you know, go to like the truck stops and sit down at these uh, restaurants, which there's only a, a few, you know, they don't have a sit down restaurant at the Loves. They don't. And there's very few at, uh, at, you know, at some of these other truck stops out here, you know, you might get a sit down session at, at the TA, at the Petro, but since COVID, COVID pretty much 
you know, shot that to hell. Shot that to shit. And there's not too many restaurants out here that that offer a nice little sit down, take some time off atmosphere. You know, majority of the petrols that have iron skillets look look blah. You know, Flying J's is always going to have a Denny somewhere. And maybe a couple of Petros that has the upbeat IHOPs in them. I will go with that. And if you're anywhere in Virginia, the only Flying J that has a Golden Corral in it. And there's a Petro. uh, I think it's South Carolina. If I'm not mistaken, maybe North Carolina. I'm not sure. But if you ever up in there, they have not only a nice little restaurant in there, but they also have a bowling alley in the game room. You might look up. might look up there. But those are just some of the personal team driving. You know, you could sit down and both of your partners could talk. There's a... There's definitely more opportunities, you know, more available jobs because a lot of these companies, you know, if you decide to team drive, that's what they want. They want the truck to continue moving, you know. They want the, they want the truck to continue moving. So if the truck is continuing moving, that's what the companies like. They like that. They like that. So they'll give you more opportunities that will be available if you decide to team, you know, the team drive. Because, you know, trucking companies like to save time. They definitely love efficiency, which is why, you know, they admire the concept of team driving. They are willing to pay you more. Well, mm, that's, that's up for debate. To pay you more part. Moreover, you know, the team driving is a good stepping stone for you if you want to go solo in the future. Because if you don't have no experience and you decided to go team driving with somebody, you definitely going to get your experience. Another thing uh, while you're team driving and that'll help you out a lot, especially if you have problems with backing. You will always have a team driver there that would, you know, that would help you get into a dock. You know, they can always spot you. That's another good advantage. You know, you can get your back and practice in the end. You can, you got somebody there to watch what you're doing, make sure you don't get in no skirmish or anything like that. But, um, but after that, you know, once you have the, you know, if you feel comfortable, you know, you might want to use that as an advantage before you go solo. Now, team driving, what would be the reason, right? What, what would be the reason? Well, of course, the money. The money would definitely be the reason for you to team drive, especially if you team driving with a stranger you know, because if you team driving with your spouse or anybody else for that matter, you know, it would probably be because, you know, you and that person, you know, y'all get along with each other. Y'all want to spend the time together. Y'all want to come out here and get this bag. But if you don't know each other and you team driving with a stranger, what would be the reason why you would want to team drive with a complete stranger? Well, of course, it's the money. It's the money. Team driving is more ad, uh, is more attractive package for trucking companies, period. They know they can rely on the truck to just keep moving versus a solo driver that needs to take his 10 and that truck's not moving in that 10, you know, that 10 hour break. They love a team driving because while you on your 10 hour, the other person is driving on their 11 hour. And then while they on day 10 hour, you be driving on your 11 hour. You see, trucking companies love that. 
nonstop trucking. They love it. And in particular, that's where the money comes in at. They offer you a little bit more to stay out a little longer while you generating all the miles between the two. They say two heads is better than one. And that is always hold true in trucking. Right? <laughs> you, you will be making more money and more consistently as long as y'all get the right kind of freight. All right? Y'all get the right kind of freight, y'all going to make more money. But lockout, man, what's the disadvantages? Why? What's, what's the disadvantages? Well, uh, the disadvantages is plenty. You know, why, why, they're, why they're tempting advantages to team drive, especially for, you know, drivers that's coming into the industry. There's a lot of people, such as myself, that don't like team driving, and we have some definitely good reasons for it, in particularly team driving with a stranger. Now, let me just say, if you do team drive with a stranger, both of y'all got to be on the same page, period. Both of y'all have to be on the same page. I had to repeat that. I had to, I had to scream it so that the people in the back can hear me. Both of y'all, again, has to be on the same page. Because if y'all not on the same page... It's gonna be a it's gonna be turmoil inside that truck. One person gonna to want to go home at this time, another person wanna go home at that time, and one person don't feel like driving the whole eleven hours, one person don't feel like this, uh, that a lot of turmoil inside that cab when your team driving. Now, team driving, like I said, does have its perks and it does have its disadvantages. Team driving, you know, the profits are split between you. So think of this. If a company say, hey, we're going to, you know, give you guys 60 cent per mile. You got to understand that is 60 cent going to the truck and not you individually. So when you come in to these companies, that's what you're going to want to know. You're going to want to know, is it going to go to you individually or is it going to go to the truck and it's going to be split, right? You also have to understand when you come in, make sure that the person, the main person of the truck don't get your, uh, how can I say, don't don't get your settlements mixed in with them so they will have to split it out of their paycheck. Make sure that you get two separate paychecks or two separate settlements, right? Two separate. You don't want to go to your partner and be like, yo, bro, you know, you're not giving me all my money. You're holding back, whatever, whatever. No, make sure that the company give you a settlement Break down and give your partner a settlement breakdown, okay? But again, find out whether it's going to the truck or is it going to you individually. But you got to understand that you also equally share the spoils between each other. So even though it's tempting... It might not be feasible in the long run, especially if you're not in it for the money. And that would probably be the only reason why you're team driving in the first place is because of the money. Undesirable partner. Oh, man. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. See, here's the things that I think that you shouldn't be doing 
or shouldn't be talking about with your partner, especially if it's a stranger. Number one, don't talk religion. Religion talk, mm, that's, that's, that's a slippery slope right there. You know, because that person's religion will probably be whatever it is versus your religion, whichever it is. Sometimes, you know, you could probably, you know, request a driver or partner to be as the same religious mind as you, I guess. I, I honestly haven't, mm, honestly haven't heard of that, but that's something that you don't want to talk about. You know, a person religion is strong. And talking about it can bring up some uh, some bad vibes in the room. Number two, politics. Yo, I'm a Democrat. You're a Republican. Self-explanatory. You like Trump. I like Obama. Self-explanatory. <laughs> Self-explanatory. You know, politics <laughs> is 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 it sucks, man. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. And last but not least, don't talk about race. Don't talk about race. If you're a white guy, I don't want to know if you got black friends. Because <laughs> all you guys always say, well, you know, I have some black friends. We, we don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want to know if you have black friends. All I just want to know if me and you going to get along with each other. That's it. That's it. That's all. You, you don't need to know if I got white friends. You don't need to know if I got black friends. And we, we don't need to talk about race relations or anything like that. So don't do it. Don't do it. Those are the three things. You know, that's the three things I hold true. Those are the three things that I give advice on. And hopefully you take that and run with it. All right. Now, I don't want to make this post a little bit long, but, you know, I'm just giving you the backdrops of, of advantages and disadvantages in team driving because a lot of you guys is going to be bombarded with that when y'all come into the industry. All right. Your partner going to have to be entertained. You're going to have to be compatible with your partner. You're going to have to be compatible with both of y'all levels of thinking. It could be very hard, okay? It could be very hard if y'all not. And it can also be hard to pass the time or trust your partner with the job at hand. That's another thing I didn't touch on. You're going to have to trust that person. Your life is in their hands while you're in the back sleep. Your life is in their hands, so you got to trust them. And speaking of sleep, <laughs> sleep problems. <laughs> yes, sleep problems. I think that's the last thing I want to touch on. Sleep problems, bruh. Sleep problems. You're going to have to get used to that. Your life is going to change. You hear what I'm saying now? Your life is going to change when you get in the truck, when you're doing team driving. Because while that person is driving, you're going to have to get your rest. And while you getting your rest, that other person, I mean, while you're driving, that other person have to get their rest. Falling asleep while somebody else is driving can be a tough thing to do. <laughs> so you had to train yourself. You had to train yourself to not fall asleep while you're driving. And you have to train yourself to fall asleep when, when you're not driving. You know, a lot of us, you know, is not used to that. You know, we're used to getting up in the morning while, you know, during the day. We're, we're up during the day and we're sleeping at night. Now we got to get used to sleeping during the day 
and being up at night. You know, trucking is a 24-hour job, just like other jobs that are 24 hours that requires you to be up. You know, if you work in a warehouse, hospital, nursing home, places like that where you probably might be used to being up and doing something. But unfortunately, you're going to have to be driving. And driving at night can be kind of kind of tedious. I want to say it can be kind of tedious, but that's something that you're going to have to get used to. And you're going to have to you're going to have to condition your mind and body to accept the fact that you will be driving at odd times. OK. So just remember that. But now you're now while your partner is resting, you got to close the curtains, which is going to be black and you're going to have to fall asleep. And again, like I say, you're going to have to trust that person while they're driving and you're sleeping but you're going to have to get used to road noise you're going to have to get used to your partner blasting the music so they can be up especially if they're driving at night so they blasting their music you're going to have to get used to that you're going to have to get used to road noise you're going to have to get used to a lot of things when it comes to your partner driving and sleeping i'm just saying i'm just saying Okay, it's going to be hard. Trust me. So your sleeping in the truck could be a challenge, especially if you're not used to sleeping when you need to sleep. So with all that said, you know, I, I first thing first, I, I appreciate you guys. I, I appreciate the viewers. More so the viewers, uh, my my members. I, I appreciate everybody that supports this channel. And I think that if you support this channel in this video, why don't you hit that thank you button, which is right up under the video. All right. So my thoughts on this. Team driving. OK. Team truck driving is highly attractive. It's, it's very a great opportunity for new drivers looking to add miles and for old drivers to look for, you know, look for a partner and break the monotony. Now, some may say the pay is not good, but I, I think it is. I, I think um, the pay packages on team driving at some companies, now you gotta make sure you choose the right company that'll give you an, an, an attractive pay package, all right? Team driving is recommended until you feel that you have experience enough to at least go out on your own. Or of course, if you still, you know, have your partners, your, your clap buddy or, or your, uh, you know, significant other, then stay. So that's about it. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you guys thoughts in the, in the comments below. Do you have any tips for people who wants to try team driving? Let us know in the comments below. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night? Yeah, take me down. Won't you let me the real way? Yeah, so